Ready? It's morphin' time! Dragon Sword! Mastodon! Pterodactyl! Triceratops! Saber 2 Tiger! Tyrannosaurus! Alright guys, welcome to my top 10 favorite Power Rangers. Alright, this was requested by Dino Thunder 14. So, let's get into this, shall we? Number 10, the Psycho Rangers. I had to put the Psycho Rangers on this list because they are probably one of the most menacing, one of the most hardest to fight for the Rangers ever. Like they love they love fighting the Rangers. They are such a big threat to the Rangers because they can fight just like them. They have almost the exact same moves unless the Rangers switch it up on them and they fight different colors, which it's really cool and probably one of the best episodes out there. Uh, they even come back for other types of episodes and other types of specials and stuff. So it's really cool when we finally get to see them fight other rangers and other types of rangers. Uh, of course, it's really cool when we... F uh, I believe there was even, like, another Psycho Ranger that had, like, his, like a, its own story and stuff. I don't remember exactly which Psycho Ranger it was, but that was a very interesting, um, very, very interesting episode. So anyway, guys, let's move on. To Wouldn't that be a good time to morph? Yes! Move on to my number nine, which is SPD. So the Blue Ranger, the SPD Blue Ranger. I like this guy because he kind of is like me. Like he wants to be the Red Ranger, and that's you know probably one of the best things about the guy uh, for me is. And then at the end of the series, spoiler alert, he does. He gets to be the Red Ranger, which is really cool. Um, I just really like this guy because he's very serious, he's very determined, uh, he's very, you know, directive of what he wants to do and stuff, and I just, I really like his character in general. He's a really cool guy, and I think that uh, he's probably one of the only Blue Rangers that I actually, like, like in a series, honestly. I mean, I like other Blue Rangers, but not as much as the SPD Blue Ranger. All right, number eight, Zack the Black Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So, Zack, uh, I think what I like about Zack is his, his, like, his dance fighting, you know? He's got this, like, this type of fighting style where he can just kind of, he's got this dance fighting, which is really interesting and really unique about him, honestly. He's one of the only rangers in all of the series that has this, and it's really cool and fun to watch him on screen. Um, and I, he's honestly one of the one of the best rangers I feel like in a lot of other series. Um, but I really like this guy. I like his move sets. Uh, I like I like this guy. So moving on to my number seven is the Space Ranger Red. Ah, man, I, listen, um, I didn't really remember the Space Rangers until I really watched it. Like, I watched it, I watched the whole series, um, like, I think a few years ago, like, about, like, two years ago, and I can't believe how much I really liked the Space Ranger. Um, he's obviously not human. I think he's, like, a, an alien or something, alien-ish. Uh, he's humanoid, but still, it's I don't know. Um, but I really like this guy. I just, 
he, he's a Red Ranger, you know, and you will notice that a lot. I have a lot of Red Rangers on here, um, and honestly, almost in every series, uh, I didn't want it, you know, have all the Red Rangers be, like, my favorite, obviously, because they're not. I ha I like other different types of characters and other different types of Rangers, so I decided to not, you know, throw all the Red Rangers in here because that would be cheating. to my number six is the Lost Galaxy Red Ranger. You're seeing a pattern now, aren't you? <laughs> so yes, the Lost Galaxy Red Ranger. He is um, the little brother to this older brother who's in this military, and uh, he ends up losing his little brother. He ends up coming back later in the series uh, as, uh, what's his name? Like Mag Magma? Magma? I don't remember his name really. But uh, it's really he. But he's really cool too. But the Red Ranger, you know, again, the Lost Galaxy Red Ranger. He's he's that typical Red Ranger hero, you know, put himself on the line to save his friends and the whole galaxy and everything. So again, uh, I just I like that. I've o I, and I always liked the Red Rangers. The Red Rangers. I've always wanted to be. I always wanted to be like a Red Ranger. You know, like that was. It all started with Mighty Morphin, and it's it kind of ended. I think I don't even remember when it ended because. I stopped watching Power Rangers, like, I think, like, was it cause when I got older, or was it when I just flat out stopped watching? I don't really remember. Or I just got sick of the other series, the new series, I don't remember. It's yours. So moving on to my number five is the Time Force Red Ranger. Now, this guy is awesome. Like, this guy is hilarious. This guy is super cool. He's rich. Like, and he, you know, is really confused about this whole, like, time thing. Uh, obviously, the story goes that the Time Force Rangers come back to the, to the past. And, you know, then the Red Ranger, then the they meet, like, uh... A younger version of the Pink Rangers, like ex fiance or whatever. Um, it's really, it's probably the Time Force Ranger. The Time Force series is actually probably one of the best story arcs ever in the in the Power Ranger Power Rangers. So I recommend that. I really recommend you go see that. One of the best series ever. Uh, but the Red Ranger, but the Time Force Red Ranger. I really like this guy, uh, and I really like how you know this ends the whole story and all that. So let me. Let me, let me lead into that with my number four, Time Force Pink Ranger. So going back to what I said earlier with the Red Ranger, so when she lost her fiance or whatever, so basically Rancic, Rancic? I think that's his name, Rancic, he kills the, Re the Red Ranger in the future. And then they have to go back to the past, but she, when, she, when she meets the new Red Ranger, he looks exactly like her ex-boyfriend. So, her ex-fiance. And, it and it's really cool how emotional the series gets over time because she misses him and you see that and she does a great job of, you know, showing that. And this series, again, is probably one of the best series in the whole entire Power Rangers mythos. Um, so I really recommend Time Force because it's a great series. All right. You don't stand a chance, Goldar. Is that so? All right, so moving on to my number three is Kimberly, the pink, pink Mighty Morphin Ranger. So this, she, you know, is a gymnastics. Uh, she um, is the pterodactyl. Uh, and she's had a lot of great moments. Um, besides the fact that she, you know, is... Uh, used to be boyfriend, I think, with uh, Tommy in the series. Um, 
you know, and then she even comes back in Turbo, which is really cool. Uh, I just, I really like her. Like, she's, she's just, she's just great. You know, when you see her on screen, you, you can't help but love her, you know? Like, she's such a great character. Uh, they've done really great stories with her, and, uh, I, I really like her. <laughs> Number two is Tommy Oliver, uh, the Green Ranger, the Red Zeo Ranger, and the Turbo, and the Dino Ranger, but not the White Ranger. Not the White Ranger. We're, we don't do the White Ranger here, okay? I don't like the White Ranger. I hate the White Ranger. I just, I don't, because he took over the Red Ranger spot, damn it. He is probably the only Ranger that took over the Red Ranger's job, and I don't like that. That annoys me, you know, but, um... Going back to Tommy Oliver, he really cool guy, been in like every single, like, you know, power, almost every single Power Rangers TV show, uh, there, obviously he's not in all of them, but still, he's been in the most, you know, so it's pretty crazy, it's really cool when we, to see him and, and watch him in those, um, what else can I say, uh, oh, and there was this new trailer, like the Shattered Grid, when he uh, plays like the Lord uh, Draken or whatever his name is, like the evil, like this evil Green Ranger, uh, they actually released like this trailer. I'm really hoping they turn this into a movie because this looks pretty badass. <laughs> this looks really good. And if you were to, if I was to tell you real quick what I would do for the next Power Rangers movie, make that the plot. Like make that the plot. You know, like so that we can put Tommy back in there. That would be really cool, I feel like. Um, but I really think that would be the great idea. Moving on to my last one. Jason Lee Scott, man, of course the Red Ranger, of course the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger, the Tyrannosaurus, like, ugh, like, I love everything about this guy, he is so cool, you know, he's such a cool guy, I love the T-Rex, man, it, it's such a mighty, a mighty Zord, I love Jason, man, like, again, putting, putting himself on the line, Always got to save his friends and stuff. Always got to be this leader. Beating himself up all the time. Like, such a great guy. Such a cool guy, man. I really, really do love the Red Ranger. He is by far my favorite Red, my favorite Red Ranger. And my favorite Ranger in general. Love this guy. Uh, obviously, there are a lot of other great Rangers. But Jason, man, Jason. Alright, guys. So let me know what your favorite Power Rangers are. Your favorite characters from Power Rangers, your favorite, you know, whatever. So let me guys, let me guys, let me, sorry, I can't talk today. Let me know in the comments, and until then, guys, I'm out of here. Up, up, and away. See you guys.